Okay, here we are back on the siren, We're ready to start chapter 14, which is the cap rail details. This chapter will encompass the 10 um, timbers that stick above the cap rail, both of the uh, stern davits, the boarding panels, all of the, uh, cat, the hammock cranes, and at the very end, we get the uh, rudder pendants. I'm going to go ahead and get the, the um, timber heads and the stern davits and the boarding panels and the hammock crane frames in place along with these steps here that go for the boarding panels. And then I'm going to coat the whole thing with a varnish, a polyurethane, and then come back and do the actual hammock cranes netting, the pendants, and then go back a couple of chapters and start with the, do the block on the stern for the the um what is it the gaff boom I'm not i'm not that's not the right right term for it with a boom that sticks out the back as well as the rigging that goes around for the ship's wheel once this chapter is done we are going to be completely done with pretty much completely done with the hull of the ship then i can start working on the cans and carinaws and get them in place so i'm going to get started with the uh cap rails the the timbers and move on from there the timbers are made from timber heads are made from a piece of wood that's 3 30 seconds by 1 8 and you got to carve the top of them so i have this one carved out already to about the shape it needs to be the cap rails the excuse me the uh, timber heads Let's get a piece of paper here Timber heads are going to have a shape, if you view of them, where they come up. You're going to see have a line across here, and they're going to be shaped kind of like that on top. I don't know if you can see how well you can see that. And they're glued onto the cap rail. These would be extensions of the frames, so they need to stick straight up and down. So if you're looking at them from the side of the ship, they should be perfectly vertical to the, the water line, essentially. Or to the keel. From looking up from the bow or the stern, they should stick up as if there's just an extension of the frame coming up from the uh, frames themselves. So I already have one of them shaped. I'm going to shape all ten of them, and I'm going to cut them all off to to a length longer than needed, so I can get them fit in there correctly. Let me get this one off. And just shape them. Kind of just eyeballing it. Start with the previous one. Give me a line. And then I am just using a chisel for the exacto. Just so maybe you can see a little better. Oops. Coming in, cutting the line here. Not very deep. And then I'm just shaving it off. And repeat that for all four sizes. You don't have to be too deep, you're just going for a basic shape. I can already feel it's going too deep. We just keep doing that all the way around. There's a little fine tuning, a little finessing. You will end up with another timber head. The shape of the timber head. Top of it's going to be tapered as, or chamfered as well. So I just come in. You can do like this and just shape it, or you can sand it. This one here didn't turn out good, so I'm just going to cut it off and start from scratch. But that's pretty much how you do it. Do that ten times. Cut them off to longer than you need, and then you can shape them to fit onto, or shape the base of them to fit onto the uh, cap rail the way you need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all these made up, then come on back for getting them shaped and put on. Okay, I have the first um, uh, timber head in place here. It's not glued in place. I have it set in there. Kind of hard to see. Bottom's kind of a little bit of angle, so it'll stick straight up. It's taller than the other four behind it. And it goes right next to the cat head. 
instructions say the wide part part should face outboard off the ship, so it'll go something like that. Get, it'll get glued in place, and it will get painted black. So I got, I'm going to get this one glued in place. I'm going to get the other nine trimmed length tapers or angles so they fit straight up, and get those glued into place. Um, you have to use your drawings to figure exactly where they go. The first one I know where they go where it goes because it goes right next to the cat head. So I'll get that glued in place. I'll get the other nine in place, paint it up, and we'll see what they look like. So I have all the timber heads in place. <clears throat> Not painted yet. I'll paint those when I paint the uh, davits. But they're all in place. They're all reasonably straight how they should be in place where they should be. Um, I'll leave them like that. I'm not concerned with them being exactly perfect because there's going to be a lot of rigging going along up here for the bowsprit and the foremast. So I'm not sure how much this is going to be kind of hidden, how much is not. But I think it'll look good when it's done. So next I'm going to move on to the uh, stern davits. This is going to get kind of interesting. There are two stern davits. There and there. Get rid of some of that light. And there they go on basically with the big end towards the stern. And they're gonna go right here, but you gotta cut cut a notch out right here in the transom for they didn't fit on. First things first is I gotta do the uh, sheaves in them. I'll do them the same way I did the ones for the cat head. And then I'll come back and we'll, I'll get those in, I'll come back and we'll start cutting and trimming one of the one of them in to get it in place. Okay, I've cut out for the first uh, stern davit. Um, I cut out a little bit too much off the transom. I had to put a little shim in there, but once it's painted up, you'll never be able to see it. Fits in there pretty good, pretty well centered. Comes off the back okay. And the only thing I did to make it, to cut it out, that is, get you over here where you can see, is I took the stern davit that's going there. There's a little lip on it. So you just sit about where you want it. And then you can come in and mark off this top where you want to cut. Bottom's just going to be cut level with this uh, cap rail, but you have to go down to the top to get down to that cap rail and cut that piece of wood out. And somewhere around here, I have my little saw blade here that goes in the exacto knife. And all I was doing was just cutting down with that blade and getting it close. If you make a mistake, you can always use wood filter to fill it in or shim it. It's all going to be painted black anyway. So here you can just go on down. If you scratch your cap rail, no big, you're going to be touching it up anyway. And then I can come on the side right here. And hopefully, get it at the right angle. This is where I ran the problem on the other side is that it dove on me. So you can get it cut out. It's going to look nasty rough. And when you put the turn dab it on this angle is going to, should be following your angle of your transom if I can look there I can see all I need to do a little trim out so I'll go ahead and put my uh, chisel blade back in if I can and then I just come in here and just start carefully Trim that last little bit of wood out. And 
and if all goes well this thing will just fit right in there so this one does pretty good I have a little bit of a gap on the back of the shim so I can just take a piece of wood scrap piece of wood here this is what's left over from the other shim cut a little bit off of it I don't need much over here and it would just go on the very back if I can get it in place here and that looks like it may fill it in pretty good you also just fill it in with, with uh, thick super glue So I can get that in, glue it in place. Then once they're dry, I can just paint both sides black and all the timber heads black. And then there's a cleat that goes on here as well. And that will be the completion of the stern davits and the timber heads. Next is do the boarding plates and ladder. Boarding plate is just a place to hold the end of the hammock cranes and give you something to grab onto when you're getting onto the ship. So let me get these glued in place and I'll come on back. So here's one of the boarding plates. There's three rings put into it. Didn't show that because I'm pretty sure you guys have seen rings installed in wood many times. These are all laser cut. I went ahead and rounded the bottom of it so that I can stick it on so it'll fit the cap rail better. When you put them on, make sure this top ring goes towards the outside of the ship. I'm just sticking these onto the cap rail with some super glue. You can pin it at your option. I'm not. These things are going to get a piece of wood running on the outside of the ship through the hammock cranes and a string on the inside. And then, of course, you get all the hammock netting in there. So they should actually be held in fairly decently when everything's done. So once they're in place, it looks something like that. I'm at the point now where I th think I can paint all the black pieces. And then I can start working on the hammock cranes. And there will be U-shaped pieces that go five, be five between the boarding plank and the timber head on the ballast ship each side. And five between the boarding plank and the stern davit on the stern of the ship. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff painted, and then I'll see about getting those in place. Quick word on these planks. They are not plywood. They're just straight grain wood, and the grain goes crosswise, so, so port to starboard, and they're fragile. I would strongly recommend that you coat both sides with super glue and let it soak in. That way it'll make them a bit stronger and less likely to break. You might go ahead and get everything painted up and come back. Okay, back on the siren. Um, starting to get the uh, hammock net cranes in place. You need to drill a hole for each one. They even tell you instructions when you cut these hammock cranes off to not cut this tab off the end. That's very important to help, to help hold it in place. Drill holes, evenly spaced, and get that off the plans. Glue them in. Do not forget to put the ring at the end here where the outer um, cabling ties to. It goes on, the, it's hard to see, but it goes on the outside of the davit, stern davit, on the outside of this one um, timber head. But you get holes drilled in, give them evenly spaced out, and just use a little bit of super glue to glue them in. I put glue on the on the pin, stick it in, get some glue inside the hole, and then I re-dip and get some more glue on the pin on the bottom of the hammock frame. And get it in, get it nice and square as best you can, and let it cure. I'm going to get the rest of them in. The next step will be to put a piece of wood on this inside notch. Goes from the boarding, uh, boarding plank, whatever you call it here, boarding panel, to I think it's a quarter inch past the uh, last hammock crane. 
So I'm going to get the rest of the hammock cranes in and come back and get that in place. Okay, here I have all the hammock cranes in place. Along with their uh, the piece of wood that goes in them. I didn't show this piece of wood on camera, but all you're doing is sticking on. I'm just basically used a pair of needle nose pliers to very carefully reach in and press each one down to the slot on the hammock crane. Instructions say should butt up against the boarding plank here and quarter inch beyond the last hammock crane. That's approximately what I did. Now I'm going to go ahead and get this thing coated with verithane or urethane. So I can come back and start doing some of the rigging that needs to be here already. Um, that would include a block that goes on this piece on the end and the rigging for the uh, wheel to tiller and then all the hammock netting. So with that coated, come back and start doing that rigging parts. Some of the rigging comes from previous chapters. and But once we get all that done, we will be, I believe, done with this chapter and we can move on to doing the, the carronades and cannons. So let me get this coat and I'll come back. I'm back on the hammock cranes here. We're starting to get the rigging on. I've already done three sections of it here. This little tiny, probably can't see it, wire right here, cable. I do this last section right here. So what I've been doing is I've taken the black thread. This is the point oh one two thread they said to use. And basically what I've been doing is I've been starting at the one end Beat it through the hole or the ring it's supposed to be in. And then all the way up and then lap, seize it to the other end. Uh, little tip here. Dip the end in your super glue or super thin or the thin super glue. Trim it off and it makes a nice stiff end that you can start feeding through all these little holes here. Otherwise the, the thread is going to um, unravel. You can just start getting it through the holes. All the way down. My problem is I'm working with black on black against black, and then I have to have my 3x magnifiers on here to be able to see what I'm doing. <clears throat> After your painting and your whatever coat you put on it, you may have to drill out the little holes in the rings where you're going into. Okay, do that. Now I grab my line, pull it back on itself, and clamp it off. It's gonna be really hard to see here. But then while I, all I do is tie it off, I just use a, uh, it was a clove hitch, I think it's called, knot. Normally you'd seize it, which is wrapped around, etc., etc. But this is so small that you're not going to ever be able to see it. So it'll be fine. Move the top. Next loop goes around. Get low the strand and through itself. You can tie it off. Make sure the knot itself is, or the seizing is close to the ring. And then a little touch of super glue. Make sure it never comes undone. And then what I found is you just use your very sharp side cutters, not ones you've been using to cut wires with. You can just go up and just cut everything as flush as you want. And that gives you one end. 
I'll go ahead and feet complete the other end and come back and start doing the netting. Okay, now that well is coming on the camera, getting the hammock netting put in place. I can't show putting it in place really because the only thing you're going to see is the back of my hands. Suffice it to say, it's really fiddly. You're going to be doing a lot of little knots on there. And you're going to get to the best you can get it. And that's going to have to be good enough because it is very fiddly to get in place and tight in place. So I'm going to continue putting those on and come back when it's complete. So here I have one side tied off on this. I always hide it one um, knot on each section except for the one on the bow and two knots. That way it's just held in place. I'll come back later and do another knot in the center and at the front of each one of these sections. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more knots. But right now, I need to get down inside and so it lays down and get tied to the front. One thing I forgot to mention is this thread that I'm using is just a standard old sewing thread. The instructions don't say what to use, just to tie it off. This is the, so I'm just using a black cotton sewing thread. One benefit of using the um, super glue on top of these knots after you tie them off is you can just come back with a sharp wire cutter and cut them off pretty darn flush. These are just cheap flush cutting um, wire cutters that I have not used for anything but this. So now I gotta do the outboard side. Which means I need to get this uh, netting down sitting where I like it in the hammock cranes which that part isn't too bad it'll sit down there fairly nicely next part is tying it off and that part you can go blind doing one suggestion put something over the half you just tied so that you're just seeing one side of it I just put a piece of paper in there so I can see in there. If it doesn't sit where you want, bundle up a piece of a wad of paper and stick inside and it'll hold it down. Put that down. I'm going to come back, start tying this side. And this is the fun side. You just need to pick a spot, go through. Very carefully grab it from the other side. Then stick the thread back through, hopefully, above, directly above where you stuck it through the first hole. And like I said, this is the fun one. Tweezers need replaced as well. So once you get it pulled through, grab both ends, make sure it's going through the netting, and then you can tie it off and it'll pull everything to where it needs to be. Use your tweezers or your back end of a paintbrush just to kind of position this first one. Get nice and tight. Put a little glue on the spot to hold your knot and move on to the next one. And what you want to try to do is watch these diamonds on the netting to try to get so you're not going up or downhill with it. So if I go through there, I should be just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this stuff tied off, trimmed off, and we'll come back to the results.
So here we are. We are done with this chapter. I have all this uh, little focus in here for you. The hammock netting is done. Lines are trimmed off. Bow section is done. Come back. The davits are in place. The pinions are in place. And I caught up from the previous chapters for rigging the tiller and putting this block over here in the back in place. So with that, we can move on to working on the cannons and carronades next time. I plan on showing one of each, not all of them built up, but one of each built up. So with that, I thank you for watching and I will catch you next time.